get this junky wheel off of here. And now we remove our clock spring because we're not using that. And uh, to bolt on our aftermarket steering wheel, I bought this flash power flash hub power. adapter. Yeah, it's a short hub. Uh, I think it was like $50 on Amazon. Okay. Link will be in the description for those of you that are on a budget. And uh, the one thing that you need to figure out with this is we still want this car to be road legal and we still want this car to have a horn. So we have to adapt a way from taking this wire here, which is the horn wire, and hooking it up to the back with like a piece of uh, copper tabbing. So here is what the solution is. Honda made these amazing little brass tabs. There's the product number for you guys, just in case. I will also provide a link in the description for that. But check this out. So this is an, a very simple brass tab, and what it's gonna do is go like that, make contact with the back of the hub, and it'll be golden. So all I have to do is figure out how to mount this now in here. Man, this tab is as good as it comes to getting a horn working. Very simple thing I just did. Mounted it up here. We've got a little jumper wire running to the existing connector there. So now it is time to install our flash power hub here. And it's just like that, we're gonna bolt this on. We went upstairs again into the stash and pulled out this our Ooh, Monte Carlo I steering about wheel. That wheel. Yeah, this I think was originally in the Z and it fit the, the quick release perfectly. So now with it on, look at that, lots of space still underneath to do our heel towing action. And I think obviously it looks exceptionally good. So this is a winner.